To save some formatting time, you can use something called the auto fit in Microsoft Publisher. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to draw a text box right here. From my insert menu, I'm going to draw a text box and I'm going to click and drag it. So you can see that I have a text box here. I'm going, just going to type in, this is a sentence just like this. And I'm going to increase its size. So I'm going to increase this in size just like that, right? Increase this in size and you can see that there's the sentence right here. But something happens that this does not actually uh, uh, fully complete the sentence. It just uh, exceeds uh, just like that. So if I were to click and drag it out, you can see that it actually goes on to the next line. So in order to overcome this, I can use something called the text fit. So I can select the text box over here and I'm going to select the text. And here you can see that in the format menu. So this is the context menu right here. Uh, this is the text box tool. So once I selected this, this actually appeared. So once I go over here, here you can see this text fit. Right now it's on do not auto fit. So nothing is being auto fit right here. But if I were to select best fit, you can see that it expands just like that. And if I were to reduce this in size, you can see that the text size actually changes according to the size of the text box. So if I were to shrink it down, you can see that the font actually shrinks down. So if I were to increase this in size, you can see that it increases as well. So if I were to just drag it down over here, increase the size of the text box, you can see that everything changes right there. So that's the text fit. So if I were to change it to shrink text on overflow, then it actually just shrinks it down if it overflows. So overflow, if you can see that if I were to type in overflow, it actually shrinks it down just like that. So now uh, if I were to decrease the font size right here, it does decrease unlike in uh, best fit, it actually uh, overflows over here. So I'm going to shrink to overflow, overflow text just like this will fit in. This is a sentence. I'm just going to copy and paste this out. And once it starts overflowing, as you can see, it'll uh, start to actually shrink down. You can see that now, once it overflows, it shrinks down. Otherwise, if it fits in a regular uh, text box, nothing happens just like that. So that is what uh, shrink uh, text on overflow does. There's another one over there again. So now, uh, I have typed in this and uh, this word right here, but if I were to go into text fit and click grow text to fit, fit the box. So I'm just going to select this and select grow text to fit box, just like that. Then the text will grow out. So I'm just going to grow text box to fit. Uh, I'm going to resize this. And if I were to type in something right here, type in something just like this, you can see that the text box actually grows down. So it does not actually contract. It actually grows down just like that. And you can see that the size actually keeps on increasing. So that is how you can use grow text to fit. But if you were to select do not do anything, so that is the default option, do not auto fit. Now if I were to type, it actually starts overflowing as you can see right here. So that is how you can use the auto fit tool inside of Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.